welcome back to another Tech Minds video. So this video is slightly different to all the others that I've done. Uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to all of you guys that have subscribed to the channel. I've actually managed now to reach a 10,000 subscribers, which is a heck of a lot of people. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches my videos and hopefully learns something. Uh, I'm not an expert in anything, but uh, I just like to kind of make videos on things that or things that interest me. Um, particularly ham radio projects and anything to do with RF really. Um, so in this video, I'm just gonna just quickly show you guys kind of my setup when it comes to uh, amateur radio, what radio I've got, and the antennas as well that I use um, for when I'm making videos with my SDR software, etc. So let's take a quick look and see what we've got. So I have quite a modest kind of setup, nothing overly complicated. Um, first we have, this is my power supply. It is a switch mode power supply. Uh, I have the uh, SDR Plays RSP Duo. This is has to be one of the best SDR receivers and in conjunction with SDR Uno, the software, uh, it's, just, it's just amazing. It's just absolutely fantastic. Yes, and I know, you guys are probably going to mention my concoction of uh, adapters here and that it puts strains on the connection. Well, it doesn't because uh, I actually uh, make sure the cable is not pulling on it when I when I use it. Um, for some of the other projects that I do, um, I need an RTL SDR device and for those um, for those kind of videos, I, I will use a new Elec product um, because I find that they're very good, very easy to use and uh, always work actually. This is the NESDR Smart TXR. Um, a couple of other little radios I've got here. Uh, this is a um, FM DMR radio. This is the RT3S dual band, so VHF and UHF. Um, I live quite close to a, a repeater, GB7CT, which is a DMR repeater. Okay. And uh, yeah, there's some activity on it. So I only use the uh, the little aerial here. Um, another little handheld behind here. Uh, this is just a Baofeng, just analog uh, radio. Don't really use that much, to be honest. Uh, this is the, well, this is the main microphone. This is the Rode microphone that I use. Uh, for recording all my videos. It's a USB type um, and it's got a really nice sound to it, I think. Uh, now the main <laughs> the main show, the main product, uh, main shack radio, this is a Yaesu FT991. Um, I got this from Moonmaker uh, in the UK over in Woburn Sands. Uh, currently it's... The Big Ten, even though Rutgers belongs to the Big Ten, but I, I think... Currently, it's just uh, it's on uh, MB6 IDB at the moment, so it's just listening to a Fusion uh, gateway. Um, but uh, obviously, this has all of HF and it also has VHF and UHF as well, plus six meters, and it's all mode, so it's uh, sideband, upper sideband, lower sideband, CW, AM, FM, and uh, obviously C4 FM as well. It's absolutely brilliant. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much my main sort of radios. Now I have got another device um, which I built and that's called an All Star node. Um, if you're not familiar with All Star, um, you're gonna, uh, you will be soon because I'm, one of my next videos I'm gonna be covering uh, All Star. I'll also be showing you how I built my All Star node as well. Uh, PC wise, well, I just use, uh, I've got a pretty high spec PC. Originally I built the PC for gaming. It was actually supposed to be for gaming and then I started using it for video editing and also creating Android apps. So uh, my main kind of work is actually creating apps in I for iOS or for Android. So uh, I tend to use the PC now for video editing and for Android uh, app creation. And, uh, and then I've got a Mac, I've got a Mac mini, uh, which also connects to these monitors, which I use for iOS development. So let's go and have a quick look in the garden, shall we? And I'll show you the antennas that I use. 
So the type of antenna that I use for HF uh, from 80 meters all the way up to 10 meters actually also tunes for 50 megs as well. This is a an N-fed half wave antenna. Uh, we have a 10 meter telescopic pole going up with a top section removed and then we have the wire going across uh, kind of like a sloper. Now it is in like a inverted L sloper configuration which uh, seems to be working okay for me. My guard is not particularly that long so I can't extend it horizontal although I may try it when I get another fixing. Now this is the transformers 49 to 1. Um, I got this off of eBay. You can make them yourself. Uh, I just wanted to get one uh, quick and easy so I could test this antenna out. It's mounted around a foot off the ground or just over a foot and the wire goes up the inside of the telescopic pole around 8 meters and then it goes off sloping for another 12. I also have the a 7 megs loading coil and a further 2.5 or around 2.5 meters wire. Now the reason for that is because without the loading coil and the extra bit of wire I wouldn't be able to get 80 meters that's why it's called a shortened multiband. Now if I remove the coil and the extra bit of wire then it would just be a 40 meter half wave in effect but because of the transformer it also makes it resonant on the harmonic so for example if it's 40 I get 20 and I also get 10. It also works extremely well on the bands in between as well which is really good and any, any bands which are not quite right I can use the inbuilt tuner in the FT991. Now this antenna works extremely well and if you've got a short garden uh, like me and you're able to put up a pole at least then I would definitely suggest or recommend to giving this one a go. Now the antenna that I use for VHF and UHF, it's uh, SQBM200P Mark II. It's a dual band 270 vertical with an SO239 socket on the end. Apparently it has a, a wide band receiver, although I haven't really kind of tested it. As you can see, I've got it mounted on the chimney. I got this from Moonraker, so if you, uh, if you want to go check it out, check out the moonraker.eu website. Well, there we go, guys. That's another video done from me. And uh, I just want to say a massive thank you to everybody who subscribed this video was pretty much a, a bit of a 10,000 subscriber special and uh, I had a lot of people ask me you know what kind of antennas I use and uh, what kind of equipment I've got so I thought I know what I'll just put it into this kind of special video um, for uh, for you guys so anyway if you like the content please don't forget to subscribe I'd love to get to the next milestone what should we say 50,000 mm, that's gonna take a while but hopefully I'll continue making content that you guys enjoy anyway I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and until the next video take care